How did a Nolan vs. Batman game turn into Shadow of Mordor? Twitter user Spidey Ranger recently posted pictures and videos of the game codenamed Project Apollo, which was being developed by Monolith. Both the Dark Knight and Batman Arkham Asylum had already come out, so Project Apollo used the same bat suit from the Dark Knight and a similar grappling hook traversal system from Arkham. But it also allowed for driving in the Batmobile and some more intimate stealth sequences, contrasting with the Arkham's more open and vertical stealth levels. What's most interesting though is that Project Apollo would have introduced the Nemesis system, a game mechanic where enemies would remember their encounters with the players. So what happened to it? According to Did You Know Gaming, Christopher Nolan may have killed it because he didn't want to have to deal with tying it into The Dark Knight Rises, but it's also possible Warner Brothers didn't want two different Batman game franchises happening at the same time. So instead, Monolith pivoted into making a Lord of the Rings game and formally introduced the famous Nemesis system with Shadow of Mordor and continued the series with Shadow of War. What are they up to next? They're working on the Wonder Woman game. Right back to working with DC.